You're tuned into the first newscast devoted to the Highland Lakes area. Local team coverage on Tribune Headline News. Bringing you the stories you care about now. Hi everyone, I'm Connie Swinney. You're watching us on Northland Communications Channel 15. We are the Picayune TV. Here's what's coming up in your headlines. I just couldn't, I've never seen a fire of that mag. It was just so high up and just, it was just an inferno. A blaze races through a house in Cottonwood Shores. As flames leapt into surrounding brush, fire crews and neighbors fought to keep the fire at bay. Once again, drought conditions grip the area. Officials with the Lower Colorado River Authority believe creating off-channel reservoirs could help avoid disaster in the future. The fire danger is high. Officials launch restrictions at area parks to decrease the chances of a runaway blaze. Hey, a dry cold front will cool things down just a bit, but lower humidity raises fire concerns. We'll tell you what to expect later in weather. All that and what's going on in area softball. This is Tribune Headline News. Stay with us. Vera Strength and Fitness. Fitness programs that are fun and exciting with true performance and true results. Vera Strength and Fitness, 708 Industrial Boulevard, Suite 101 in Marble Falls. As our school and city elections draw closer, it's important to know who's shaping the discussion for these critical issues in our area. The Picayune Candidate Forums can be found on thepicayunetv.com and also Northland Communications Channel 15. Welcome back. An early Easter blaze destroys a house in Cottonwood Shores. The fire caused a few tense moments as neighbors snuffed hot spots which crept towards their homes. Take a look. On Easter morning, Chris George expected the highlight of his day to be hiding eggs, not fighting a fire. Well, as soon as the blaze started happening, all the fire was shooting over into the yards and everything. We just had buckets of water and my neighbor was filling them up saying go when we were just trying to get any kind of fire that was getting near these other houses and Barry's mailbox here was right across the street, caught fire on the top of this tree. And, but you know, of course the fire crew shot the top of the trees, but we were all trying to put out the fires here. They were telling us to stop. Finally we did, so we didn't want to get in their way. A fire swept through this house in the 800 block of Northwood just before 3 a.m. on April 24th in Cottonwood Shores. Dry conditions and wind gusts caused a few challenges for the agencies who responded. Authorities described the house as vacant, but neighbors say they noticed people coming and going from the residents. Investigators say the cause is undetermined. The residence was fully engulfed the night of the fire, and, and uh, the fire marshal did come here yesterday, um, and the fire marshal did conduct an investigation trying to determine the cause of the fire, but the, the investigation still remains open at this point. Fire crews contained the blaze primarily to the property. There were a few tense moments as flames spread to a neighbor's tree and mailbox area. There were no reports of injuries. In our next headline, the Lower Colorado River Authority may have a solution to ease future drought issues. The state has given the LCRA permission to divert nearly as much Colorado River water each year as Lake Buchanan can hold. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality granted the LCRA permission to do so. LCRA first applied for a permit to build off-channel reservoirs in 1991. It led to years of studies and negotiations with environmental groups and water rights owners. The permit, now granted, opens the floodgates for the LCRA to build reservoirs in Colorado, Wharton, and Matagorda counties all in South Texas. Capturing and storing up to 854,000 acre feet of water annually during floods and other high flow times. This can help avoid pulling so much water from the upper Highland Lakes during dry times in the future. Coming up after the break, a look at your weather forecast. Area athletes have the postseason on their minds. We're going to tell you who they are and what sports coming up in sports. <laughs> Welcome back. Morning fog, high humidity, but is it enough to move us away from the fire danger? Jared Fields joins us with a look at your forecast and more. Hello everyone. We have a dry cold front bringing northwest winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour today with relative humidity falling below 20%. That has our area in a red flag warning through Wednesday night. Now here's the rest of your forecast for Northland 15 and the Picayune TV. Now along with our dry, windy day, that cold front will keep the high to about 85 today. 
Tonight, those winds will decrease and we'll have clear skies with a low around 51. Thursday will be sunny. The high again will be in the mid 80s of about 86. And then tonight will be mostly clear with a low around 58. Friday will warm up a bit. We'll have mostly sunny skies and a high breaking the 90s up to about 91 degrees. Now, as we get into our weekend, we have a slight chance for thunderstorms on Sunday, but we'll have those details later in the week on our forecast, so stay tuned. Also, we still have a high fire danger for Thursday and Friday as humidity will be very slow to raise. Now, remember, we're still in a burn ban, and with such dry conditions, we hope you're careful out there. With that in mind, though, our next few days should include some great weather, so get, it, get outside and enjoy it. For Northland 15 and the Picayune TV, I'm Jared Fields. Thanks, Jared, for that report. Now here's Jennifer Fierro with a look at local sports. We do have some high school softball news to update you on. Both high school teams from Burnett and Marble Falls advanced to the playoffs, and now we can tell you who they're playing and when they'll be playing. We're going to start with the Lady Mustangs, who will be hosting Austin Crockett, the team third place coming out of District 26. That is a one-game winner-take-all contest, 7 o'clock, at Scare Softball Field on the Marble Falls High School campus. The Lady Dogs will be playing Wembley at a neutral site beginning Friday night, 7 o'clock at Lake Travis High School. Game two, of course, will be played at 10 a.m., same spot, Lake Travis High School. If game three is needed, that will play 30 minutes after the conclusion of game two. Now, the Lady Dogs are hoping to get back some of their momentum, which they lost when they played at Liberty Hill on Thursday night, the Lady Dogs losing 12 to 3 in that contest do give them a lot of credit in the sense that the Lady Dogs could have folded. This game was meaningless to both teams. Liberty Hill had already clinched first place in the district. The Lady Dogs had already clinched the playoff berth, but Amanda Carpenter, the head coach there, commended her players for never quitting. Now we do have some track news for you. We're going to tell you about the Faith Academy track team. They will be going to Howitzville for the regional meet on Thursday. Some of them were at the Marble Falls Regional Qualifiers meet, including Jake Diamond, who cleared 12 feet during that contest. We did get a chance to talk to Jake after he finished vaulting. Here's what he had to say. It feels great. Uh, I have the new school record at Faith Academy, so it feels great to be able to set something my sophomore year and hopefully to build from that as my, when I get to my senior year. So. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you. Jennifer, thanks. In our final headline, dry conditions have prompted officials to ban outdoor burning in all LCRA-owned parks. There are 42 recreation areas in all, a number of them along the Hyden Lakes. The move goes along with a string of burn bans in area counties, including Burnett. State park properties, which fall within county boundaries, are under the restriction as well. 80% of Texas counties are under a ban on outdoor burning to give you an idea how dry it is all over. And it's all because of a lack of rain and the growing amounts of dry brush. Many areas have become a tinderbox waiting to flare up. Those were your headlines. Thanks so much for watching us. We are the Picayune TV on Northland Channel 15. I'm Connie Swinney.